hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how you can run existing laravel project using devilbox to do that let's move on to devilbox and turn it on you already know that the laravel project root directory is public folder so we are making sure that this is set public because laravel's project root directory is public uh, you will have to check this first and save the file and moving on to devilbox folder and create terminal inside here and type sudo docker compose up minus d Now it will turn on the devil box. Now let's go to devil box terminal mode. To do that, let's type sudo dot shell dot sh. Now clear it and type ls. Let's see how many projects are there. Here is only one project. Now let's clone the repository. To do that, let's move on to our browser. I'm clicking on here. Uh, for this example, I have already selected a Laravel repository. So let's clone this project inside www folder. Here is the devilbox directory and move on, moving on to data and then inside www and here open new terminal and type git clone and the repository path and hit enter so the project has been downloaded closing this terminal here the project name seems too long let's short it rename it rename it to filament and hit enter now let's move on to terminal again and again type ls it is now showing two laravel projects here let's go inside filament project to do that let's type cd filament now we are inside filament project let's clear the terminal now type composer install it will download all the necessary files for this repository So all the necessary packages has been downloaded. Now let's type PHP. Let's clear the terminal first. Now let's type PHP artisan route list. It is showing all the routes. Now let's set up the database. Mm, to set up the database let's turn on let's go to filament panel type localhost now go to tools and php my admin create a database for that now let's give this uh let's give database name to villa meant underscore db copy the database name and create it now let's go to our devil box and go inside filament and turn on this project using vs code here uh, let's copy 
copy env example and paste it paste it here and rename this file to env now set the database name to filament db so database name is set now let's apply migration command uh, using terminal now type php rt sun migrate unknown name filament db that means maybe our database name is not same as env file let's go there uh, let's copy this file database name and paste it on env file i made the spelling mistake don't worry let's run this command again so migration file has been run now type php rt sun storage link php rt sun key now let's move on to filament panel and refresh it go to virtual hosts here we can see our filament project this is how you can run clone a repository and run it using filament the main benefit of this filament is that you can run uh, many projects at the same time and you can work any of the project uh, using devil box here these two website is running at the same time after finishing all of our work we will have to close the filament terminal uh, we will have to close devil box to do that let's type exit and sudo docker compose down this is how we can uh, run laravel projects locally thank you